Hey guys, James here from 5 star Rating 22 um, I'm working on a Terminator and I was getting to the face part, so I figured, hey, I'll do a quick tip, show you guys how I do uh, faces for like my unhelmed um, space marines, or any skin, any like uh, tanner skin type that I want to do. So, alright, so it's a Terminator Sergeant here from Black Reach, Assault on Black Reach, so I'm going to do him. Uh, sorry about, uh, this was kind of difficult, it took me a little longer, uh, my light finally burnt down, it's a weird light as you can see there. Uh, so I have to find one of those, but I did the best I could. You guys can see way better in the video here. I turned up the brightness um, than I could see. So, but hey, it works. So, anyways, I'm taking here is Talaron Flesh from GW's Foundation line or Foundation Paints line, and I'm gonna do uh, I, again uh, with faces especially. Uh, I make sure to thin it out and do nice thin coats because um, it's easy to fill in detail on faces. Um, a lot of the stuff like around the face, he's got like a. a uh, sent or a sensory array or something like that on the on the would be on his left side of his face. Uh, I haven't painted that in yet. I'm doing the face first because it's lower uh, lower segment. So um, don't mind that. But as you can see there, the talent on flesh. I slowed it down to show you. Nice even coat. Took about two layers um, to get there, but that's not too bad. And then the details filled in. So even with the foundation paints, I thinned it out about one to one. So not too bad. It's good to good to take your time. All right, now I'm taking Ogre and Flesh. It's a wash from a GW as well, and I'm going to use also. I'm again I'm using my size one uh, Klinsky travel brush made by Daniel Smith, I believe it is, if I remember right. And I'm going to use that to put on this, and this helps to define define the recesses, give the give the model some definition, and then also for when I add the highlights, this is kind of like a, a marker. Um, the more you do this, the more you get used to uh, which which areas to highlight. But if you're if if you're kind of fairly new to it, maybe use a little more wash to help you out even more. Uh, it's it's it it's not gonna make a huge difference. But um, I try to take my time and kind of run it into the places and concentrate it more on the areas uh, the areas that need it, while still trying to while still still trying to stain or tone down or darken the the whole the whole shade a little bit. And then I use again one of those things you get from a, like a pizza uh, delivery pizza to hold them uh, flat down so the so the wash didn't run so it so it so it dried in the areas I wanted it to dry in so I slowed down the video again here to show you so you can get a you can see now with the wash in there it helps add definition um, now around like some of the darker areas you can I'm, I'm gonna do a, I'll show you a step here uh, that I use to to help uh, darken uh, certain areas down, like around the mouth. Usually, that's a little bit more seeped in. So, but um, first highlight here, or no, what I'm doing here is adding bulk on metal. He's got like a little, I'm not sure what it is, but it, on his forehead, one of those metallic things that you see on some Marines. So uh, I just did that in bulk and silver. And then what I'm taking here is one part bat of black wash, and then about two parts ta or uh, ogre and flesh wash here to darken up the ogre and flesh a bit and I'm gonna run this uh, around the or in the lips here in between his lips to help uh, darken those down even more since they're a little bit more a little bit more deep um, I just had the bat of black to, to help darken the wash a little bit and then the the ogre and flesh to keep it nice toned in so you can see there I added it in and then I took uh, my brush after it was dry and, and took some of it out so now what I'm taking is dwarf skin from Vallejo and uh, Talaron Flesh again from GW Foundation Paints, and I mix them one to one to get a nice, nice tannish type uh, skin tone, and that's going to be the first highlight on the face. And what I'm doing here is I concentrate it like on the nose, the upper eyebrow ridges, uh, the upper lip, lower lip. Uh, if it's jutting out, uh, the chin there on this model was was jutting out, so some on the chin, and then the right and left uh, jaw jaw bones as well, uh, lower of the eye sockets were were kind of jutting out. So added those or did those did those as well for the first highlight. And then on the always like on bald heads here, what I'll do is I'll kind of line it in, take my finger, wipe it off, line it in, wipe it off, line it in, wipe it off, and that helps uh, blend it in better. So it doesn't look otherwise if you kind of just paint it on there. It ends up looking kind of un unnatural. It looks it looks unreal. Um, for, to me, it does. Uh, you know, I mean, teach his own, but that's how I do it. You know, I'll paint it on, wipe it off. So, and I slowed it down here again to help you, so you guys could see after the first highlight here, if it focuses, hopefully, and focus. And there you go. So you can see the highlight areas. Kind of hard to um, pick out with the with the eye, but uh, you can see it. 
don't mind the monocle that's not painted yet so or whatever that is now to the mix I had of one one with the dwarf skin and the Talaron flesh I'm gonna add elfic flesh one part that it's almost like a white so uh, adding one part to it will help lighten it up nice uh, quite a bit I never use like uh, plain elfic flesh for a highlight I think it becomes too bright then so I mix that into my already uh, already mixed that I had one to one and then I'm gonna put this pretty much the exact same spots I put the other one just with a smaller brush and smaller amount so I'm using my insane detail brush here now and adding a smaller amount and then I do the same thing um, on the skull as well or on the on the dome of his dome of dome of the head um, just a little bit less as well uh, doing the doing kind of like lines on or streaks on and then wiping it away now what I'm taking here for the eyeball I take denim stone and dead white denim stone is from GW's foundation and dead white is from Vallejo and I mix them one to one for the pupil to eye on this model I probably wouldn't normally did it but do it but since I figured since I was doing a little tutorial or quick tip I figured I'd do it for you guys so just use a nice small brush um, put the eyeball in it's it's pretty quick and easy slowed it down here a bit so you can uh, get a good view of it you know just take your time thin it out again I thinned that out as well uh, you know take your time I and I add the denim stone because it helps get it down in one coat uh, usually makes it makes it a little bit easier the the more t more you know if you do it like in a in a plain white it you you end up doing it more and more and the more times you're in there with the eye or in there by the eyeball with a paintbrush the more chance you have a mix or uh, of messing up so I try to get it in one go that's why I used the foundation paint and then I'm taking uh, I think it's pure blue or intense no intense blue from the yellow not game color model color and I'm just doing a dot of that I usually use like a dark brown a dark blue um, sometimes a dark green uh, but this 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 guy I just used the plain blue I normally I would add like black to it but I figured eh, it's okay kinda looks like uh, my sister's boyfriend <laughs> so alright so that's pretty much it there so you can see the highlights see the eyeballs pretty much done now to make this guy uh, look like you know he's tired he's been out in the field for quite a while I am going to take and add a little bit more wash to the eye socket and it also helps uh, blend in the eye socket as well I add denim stone to the white too because it makes it so it's not just a plain white um, most eyeballs aren't like a, a plain white you know they're kind of an off color so uh, with the denim stone in there it helps helps tone it down a bit so that's ogre and flesh I just added around the eye socket there to help darken it up a bit and then a little bit around that Balter or whatever that is on his forehead. All right, so that's it, guys. Here's some still shots to show you. Don't mind the that around it. Uh, it's just the head's done, just the face. So that monocle and stuff is not complete yet. Um, but hope you guys liked this. I uh, hope it was a good quick tip. Also, guys, uh, I I didn't start on the elder or the harlequin yet because I want to go and get my uh, a new light bulb for my desk lamp because it, it's it was harder to see than I thought it was gonna be and I don't want to start on that until I can see very well. So all right, guys, there you go. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, happy holidays and keep gaming. Later.